Hello everyone. Um, yeah, I've got another shipment here. And this is not, I think, going to be a standard. This is not out of Kyoto, Japan. This is actually out of Osaka and uh, security clearances. This is not a customs raid box. Uh, this was shipped through DHL, so they prematurely check and do everything they can. So what I suspect this is, is a ton of the kimono purses. Now, I ordered a ton of these because the company in Osaka that I buy the kimono purses from is no longer um, going to be operating as they normally do. They actually were sold to another company, and that company does not deal outside of Japan. That's exactly what this is. This is a giant box of kimono purses that are reversible, made from kimono fabric. And uh, all these purses have two sides to them. These at some point in time were scraps from a modern kimono production factory. And uh, that's exactly what all these are. They're quite pretty. Two-sided. They're big enough that you could easily fit an entire lunch in. And uh, knowing that the company was no longer going to be offering anything uh, to America again, I ordered 250 of the purses. So on a wholesale level, these are about to vanish from the American market. And... They'll no longer be available. If they're available again, either the company I was working with to get these has decided when the new company takes over that they are offering stuff to foreigners. And I did petition that they please reconsider that policy. But a lot of Japanese companies will not deal to outsiders. There's a lot of bureaucracy and red tape that goes in with that. Oh, look at that. A really pretty pink cherry blossom kimono purse. But, uh, so after this batch is gone, what's going to happen is pretty much the only way, unless the company changes their mind that's buying this company out, the only way you're going to get it is by resale. So, like, eBay, Yahoo auctions, etc. I don't do that. I am very dedicated to getting genuine, straight from the factory, good, direct sources. I no point in time do eBay reselling, Yahoo auction reselling. Um, things of that nature. I take a lot of pride in going to genuine wholesale sources. And this company was out of Osaka, Japan, and I just discovered them, and sadly, they're already gone. So I'm going to, though, keep trying and poking around. Um, yeah, 250, that sounds like a lot to you probably, but I can show you that's not going to be a lot. Those will go fast. I, uh, within a handful of, I think, two shows sold 50 of them, so... These are going to go fast. A lot of people really like them. We're buying them for lunches, for just generic around town. Um, gift purses. A lot of these sold as gifts, actually, around Mother's Day that people wanted really cool items to give to their loved ones. And I promise you, these are all really pretty reversible pieces. So there's that. I will catch you guys later. You can find my schedule on ohiokimono.com. Go to my schedule page. Uh, again, I buy everything straight from Japan. No eBay reselling, no Yahoo auction reselling. And I go so far as to prove it. If you got any doubts, just ask for it. And ask for the same from whoever you're buying your kimono from. You know, if they're claiming that they personally fly to Japan and they personally buy all this inventory, they better have some photos of them flying around Japan because I know I take a bunch of photos. That being said, you guys have a great day. I will see you at a number of shows coming up this year. I'm definitely focusing on a lot of Japanese cultural festivals. If you visit my site, you'll find some great hidden gems that a lot of people have never even heard about. Um, the Fort Wayne Cherry Blossom Festival was outstanding this year. I have the Anderson Japanese Garden coming up and many more. I will see you there. Bye.